All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, we are going to the esports uh, space today, and specifically Guild Esports, as we said, co owned by none other uh, than Mr. David Beckham. Cal Howard is uh, CEO of the company and joins us on the show today to give us a, a little bit of a look at uh, Guild Esports. Uh, very interesting space, exploding in popularity over the past couple of years. Great to have you, uh, Cal. Give us a, a little insight here on the company. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. I love your show. Um, you, you know, the esports industry continues to grow by double digits year over year. Um, we uh, we believe two to five years, and and uh, um, we we believe that Guild could be one of those top orgs. Um, you know, we specifically looking at the UK, we saw on an un, unserviced uh, uh, market and uh, and we, we really believe that uh, you know if foreign if an investor wanted esports in their portfolio there's not a lot of options um you know so so we we chose to go the public route and list on the london stock exchange main market um we uh, we, we are using that investment to grow fast and uh, and we believe that uh, you know building a, a loyal fan base and and a brand that our our brand partners care about um, is, is going to lead to success. You know, and, and today um, we're we're sitting with uh, 8.4 million in contracted revenue in just one year as a listed company. Um, we've got a, a, an owned audience of over a million now, and and a total network reach of 15 million, and that's creating media value. And and uh, and and the brands are getting excited, and and we've got more brands uh, at advanced stages in our pipeline than we've ever had. So um, we, we just believe it's a it, it's an awesome space for investors to consider, and uh, and Guild I think is poised for a great. 2022. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, individual uh, portions of this business because we're talking esports. We're talking professional uh, athletes uh, in the esports industry. There's an entertainment division. There's also uh, an apparel division as well. Let's dive into the uh, individual sections of the business here and let these uh, viewers know what they need to know. Yeah, sure. So you know, our, our business we, we make we make money prim primarily from uh, sponsorship revenue, and and uh, uh, you know the, the brands care about uh, eyeballs and they care about reach, and uh, and we've grown from literally zero followers to uh, you know a network of, of over 15 million now. Obviously, David Beckham's influence is a, is a huge help, but we're growing uh, and building a brand that uh, you know th those partners care about. Um, you know, we've got we're launching merchandise uh, which, which creates revenue. Um, we're we're uh, we've got an esports division that has won four trophies already, and that's not easy to do. Um, and uh, and we're we're uh, you know continuing to knock it out of the park in terms of esports and. And, uh, you know, I think what I'm most excited about is our, our academy. Uh, we launched a Guild Academy last summer, and what it is is a path to pro system. You know, I think, you know, any, any, anyone that's watching this uh, has kids that, if you've got kids that um, play a particular traditional sport, you know how to get them involved at an early age, and you know how to... Uh, you know, help them progress with their passion. And and uh, as far as video games go, other than the levels in the in the in the particular game, um, there is no path to pro system. And that's what we're building. And and uh, you know, the, the kids are are gravitating to Twitch and YouTube and and watching pros and content creators watching them play video games more than ever before and and um, you know I think I think it creates incredible uh, opportunity for these kids uh, you know we're looking at it from a holistic perspective so it's not all grind in the video game hour after hour it's it's uh, you know um, looking at it from from um, you know how are their sleep habits and their health uh, their, their nutrition um, focusing on school and physical activity and and we believe that that all of that does lead to uh, improved in-game performance um, you know these kids are are, are are signed up to a subscription model so you know guild is is pulling in five pounds a month uh, on that uh, we're, we're able to uh, you know, turn these these kids into uh, loyal fans and create a tribal loyalty in the business, and and we're able to uh, uh, grab the, the 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 cream of the crop, the the top performers that that have a chance to go pro and and sign them to contracts, and they 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 could potentially play on a guild roster, or or we could uh, you know. Um, 
to transfer them in the transfer market, and and that's additional revenue. So so there's a, there, there's a lot to this, but in in uh, in a short year, we've uh, we've come a long ways, and and 2022 is is looking very exciting. I love that concept of uh, providing you know the path to you know more more uh, success, I guess, uh, for the for the young younger generations looking for a way to maybe get involved uh, in a greater greater manner, but just don't have the uh, the information that is. Uh, needed to do so. So uh, on that note, the company just uh, leased a brand new space in London over in the UK to, I guess, become the headquarters for this training. Tell them about that. Yeah, so we, we, we signed a, a lease on a, uh, a three-story building in in a, a very trendy neighborhood at the tech hub in London, uh, an area called Shoreditch. And um, this is going to be not only our headquarters and, and training ground for our pros, but it is also the physical academy uh, location. So, so these these uh, uh, academy subscribers, academy students that that uh, um, have performed well and have a chance of going pro are uh, uh, you know then invited to the physical space where they're training alongside our pros you know it's very close to a traditional premier league academy model and and we're really excited about that but it, you know i guess what's most exciting from from the ceo's perspective is the uh, the, the revenue opportunities that come with having uh, an asset like a like a, a headquarters like this building and uh, the, the commercial opportunities in terms of uh, you know naming rights on that building um, you know, naming rights for the individual rooms within the building. Uh, it, it's really an investment and, uh, and it's going to uh, really pay for itself and, and bring in a, a significant profit for the company in 2022 and beyond. You mentioned the sponsorship side of the business to kick things off here. I'll uh, throw out a few numbers here. Pretty impressive. Four and a half million dollar or million pound sponsorship, I should say, with Bitstamp. Uh, even a deal with PlayStation for FIFA 2022 uh, for an actual tournament. That's uh, a big name, obviously, to be involved with. Yeah, you know what? We we couldn't be more proud with with how far we've come uh, in, in one short year. And and to be completely honest, I, I thought we were, were going to come, uh, you know, deliver a lot more. Um, but we're we're positioned to do that in 2022. You know, we, we've we've signed uh, uh, deals with with some of the biggest brands in, uh, on the planet. You know, Subway, uh, Samsung, uh, HyperX. Uh, you know, and and most recently, Bitstamp is the the uh, longest running uh, cryptocurrency exchange uh, on the planet. And, and um, we, we're just going to continue to add to that. You know, in, in, in addition to our, our partnerships, we're also doing a lot of activations. And, and uh, the big brands are, trust us, and they're using us as a vehicle to reach that very difficult to reach Gen Z audience, um, that, those esports fans. So we, uh, we couldn't be more proud with, with what we've built so far. Um, we're just getting started and uh, very, very excited and, and optimistic about uh, 2022 uh, and, and beyond. It's an exciting time to be in this uh, industry because it's, as we said, an exploding one uh, every day almost. Uh, it's, it's great to have Cal Howard, CEO of uh, Guild Esports. Check them out, guys. Listed over in London on the uh, LSE, you can see G-I-L-D, ticker at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, thanks for doing this, Cal. We look forward to an update. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. Uh, Guild Esports guy.